Hello, I'm Alice Bradley. And I'm Eden Kennedy, and we're here to tell you all about childbirth on Mom Ed. In this episode, we are discussing the baby and how to take care of and it. And how not to hold this it. This is probably not the way to hold no. it. So you do need to learn how to take care of a baby, and you need to relearn how to take care of you. Of you that's right, of yourself. Yeah. And with us today is Rosie Pope. You're hey. back. Yay, yeah. good to see you again. And Rosie Pope is the star of Pregnant in Heels on Bravo, and the force behind Rosie Pope Maternity and Mom Prep. Yep. And mom of two and one. And one on the way. And one on the way. Yay, so you are going to be in the thick of it. Seriously, I should Very, know what to do yeah. by now. Yes. You better yeah. know. So it's Alice and I. It's been uh, well. It's been more than a decade for <laughs> me. It's no, all. It's a little a fuzzy. Day. All that stuff. So we need to. Yeah, a little recap. Can, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're gonna swaddle. Oh, swaddling. Yeah. Yes. Now, obviously, I think mm -hmm. everybody should try and learn to swaddle before they have a baby. Okay. But nurses in the hospital are swaddle experts. Swaddle right. masters. Like, they swaddle like, like nobody ninjas. else swaddles. So when you're in the hospital, use that opportunity. To ask to. and get lessons yes. mm -hmm. before you go home. Okay. 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 So first of all, I'm just sticking the baby in. Right. Swaddle cloths come in all different shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. right. So first of all, we're going to fold over the top like this. Okay. The bigger the cloth, the more you might have to fold that over. Ooh, like that, like origami. No. Okay. Just the side. Okay. She's doing it. Like a little crane. <laughs> okay. So okay. Baby. Now put your baby's head up here. Up there. So that. The head, bottom head of the cloth just is just at their shoulder, shoulder. line. All so right. the swaddle is obviously not going to go over their face. Right. Okay? Sorry, then you're no. going to take Straighten this, this side <laughs> and you're going to lift this arm up. Ooh, this arm doesn't work very easily. We're going to lift this arm up. We're going to take the cloth and we're going to roll the baby Aww. and put it underneath. All right, so you get the legs kind of okay. first and mobilized. Yeah. Then you and take one arm. this part, you bring this up and tuck it in. Oh. Now, depending how large Ooh. your cloth is, Depends how much you'll have to tuck sure. in. Okay? okay? And if there's too much to tuck in, you can make that initial fold a little bit bigger. Okay. Then this baby's arm goes down, and we bring this side around like this. Baby burrito. Baby burrito. Oh. Lift the baby up, and you're going to tuck it in up here. Oh my god, it's so tucked. Now, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you swaddle? Why would you do yeah, this to this why baby? Why would you do that? Well, the Don't babies just come out of your womb. The baby is being in this very, nice, warm, very confined. tight, confined space, mm -hmm. and they come out into the world, and all of a sudden their legs and their arms right. are flailing. They're whacking right. on the and face. and it can feel yeah. really They think they're insecure. falling, right? Isn't that what they're... Oh, yeah, and they, that, have, they jerk, too, they have that yeah. reflex that can really right. wake them up. So swaddling allows your baby to sleep longer, feel mm -hmm. more comfortable, and just generally safer. Yeah. Another thing you can do if you have the bassinet is once you've swaddled and you have your baby lying in here, you can take another swaddle cloth, Nurses will do this all the time in the hospital. You fold it over and put it on the bottom half of the baby and then mm -hmm. tuck it under the mattress. Oh. oh. And that so really nice. holds the baby oh. in there. And you should do that when you're around the baby just in case this yeah, manages sure. to come right. wriggle out. Right, right, right. Now, people always ask me, how do I know when swaddling is no good anymore? When they the moment your baby can break out of the swaddle, oh. they bust the out. moment you stop the swaddle. Right, right. Okay. That is the saddest moment. Okay. <laughs> when they're like, bam, guess what? Bam. <laughs> There you go. But this is, this is, I've ne I never know. did this good a job at swaddling. Baby that, immobilization. It's normal to be emotional in the first few weeks after you give birth as hormone levels regulate. But 10 to 20% of moms experience more than the normal baby blues. They suffer from postpartum depression, which is more severe and lasts longer. Some signs of postpartum depression include lack of joy in life, feelings of shame, guilt, or inadequacy, severe mood swings, difficulty bonding with the baby, withdrawal from family and friends, and thoughts of harming yourself or your baby. It's important for you and your partner to know the signs of postpartum depression and contact your doctor if you're experiencing symptoms. When you're pregnant, everything's about you, right? Mm -hmm. Everything's about being pregnant, and you're so beautiful, and you're going through all these things, and you read the books, and they're all about you being pregnant. Yeah. Right. Of course, you find out where your baby's at at the different stages, but largely it's about what you're going through. The second you have your baby, all of the literature and everything becomes about the baby yes. and not it's about you. And in fact, those first weeks, if not that first year, is perhaps most challenging 
and difficult of your life. Right. And you're changing, you're going through so many things. I think talking about those first few weeks is so important. Mm -hmm. And surviving mm -hmm. right. as a mom. Yeah, right. I remember the yeah. feeling of vulnerability I had and dependence. Yeah. Like, I, I, there was no way I could get out of bed if I had to go to work or get a sandwich right. even. I couldn't do it. I was so dependent and on my husband. And just the, right, and the hormone things right. going on in your yeah. body. I would be crying in one minute and laughing the next minute, and then I'd be sweating a lot for no apparent reason. You're always reason. like that. It's actually... And, <laughs> and I, you know, I really tell time. my clients is, it's like a mantra I want them to say. Like, when they are crying or laughing or they're feeling like this whole thing is impossible, they have to keep telling themselves two weeks mm. because yeah. at the end of those two weeks you sort of suddenly wake up it's like okay mm. You're in I, I got a little swing the here I know how many times a day I'm feeding my baby right. I know how to feed my baby right. I know how to do the diaper I've got the nighttime thing going I'm right. tired but I, I'm together a little right. bit you have more routine right one thing that I was surprised about was blood clots after you begin, about a week after, I had a blood clot the size of a tennis ball come out of me. Oh, I did too. And by the way, I had blocked that out of my mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I hopefully reminded it. Rosie yeah. that I didn't have that. I put a rock back and forth slightly. Yeah, yeah. We right. And I yeah. thought my uterus had fallen out, and I called oh, my right. midwife and said, "This horrible thing just came out of me." <laughs> and she said, "Oh, that's a blood clot. Maybe you should move around a little more. You've been lying down too much." Oh wow. Right. Yeah. And you're sore too. Like I kind of didn't realize yeah, how that, some healing much that was going to happen. Begin. I had a lot of ice packs and various frozen and peas. A great yeah. thing is to take a newborn diaper uh -huh. oh. and to cut it open and put some ice chips in, oh. or to wet it a little bit and then put it in the freezer. Nice. And then what you can do with that is cover <laughs> it cloth and sit on it. Yeah, it's awesome. the perfect sort of. That's fantastic. Size. Yeah. <laughs> know, it's a pro. Right? Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for everything. Thanks. Nice pleasure. Yeah, yeah, we're lucky to have you here. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Getting ready for yes. our next episode, which is what your is it? biggest fears revealed. Next time. Biggest ones. <laughs> <laughs>